970 WMAY is the news and talk of Springfield with live local talk on the biggest and most controversial issues of the day. On this radio station, you'll hear plenty of strong and outrageous opinions. Those opinions belong to the hosts and callers, not necessarily to the management, staff, or advertisers. Feel free to call 629-7970 and speak your mind. But when you do, that call becomes the property of 970 WMAY and may be recorded and played back at any time. I'm a 39-year-old mother of two, and I can't get my stereo loud enough. Kramer Show 970 WMAY. Hello. Hey, uh, guess who's getting a ticket? Who? Are you getting a ticket? Yeah. you got to be we, kidding. No, sir. I'm sitting right here between 7th and 8th on Monroe, and the kind officer is behind me with my information filling out the paperwork. How loud is your stereo, Irving? I didn't think it was that loud, but he said I was clearly in violation of the 75-foot rule. You've got and, to be kidding me. So if you want to have a fundraiser to help me pay my <laughs> ticket, I'd, I'd certainly appreciate it. I mean, I, I don't know how many points that's going to be against my license. Well, i got to tell you that the sound of free music in Springfield will cost you $250. <laughs> right now, the police officer is probably listening to me right now. And he's like, I'll the police officer's like, I'll show these bastards. If they want to defy against it, I'll write them a ticket. Holy crap. <laughs> I and, still uh, cannot believe you got a ticket. And he said, you know, he said, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I told you, I got some business to attend to downtown here tonight. And I was just driving around. He said, well, you picked a bad night to have your music uh, cranked up. Uh, because they're having a discussion about the noise ordinance in Springfield. And I said, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, and I'm on a detail to make sure that people don't, uh, that you know, while the meeting is going on, that people don't violate the ordinance. We need to save our music. That's a whack law. The law is kablooey! 970 WMAY, the news and talk of Springfield. We're a politician's worst nightmare. A radio station that asks the tough questions and won't settle for pat answers. One of those could make a dramatic difference in the lives of chronically ill people across this state. It is by no means a certainty, although the bill's sponsor thinks there's a good chance of passing legislation that could allow people to use marijuana for medicinal purposes to treat certain chronic ailments. A well-known advocate uh, on this issue is lending his name and his stature to this fight. He'll be talking to Illinois lawmakers today about this. Uh, One-time TV talk show host Montel Williams joins us live this morning to talk about his lobbying efforts here in Illinois. Good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us on the program. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Are, are you actually in possession of it now and legally? No. Does that put you in any jeopardy no. to come to a state no. like Illinois? No. Uh, no, no, I'm not in possession of it now, and I'm not going to sit here on national on the radio and say, yes, of course, Jim, I'm in possession <laughs> of it now. Send cops up to my room to bust while tell them making an example. Well, I'm not trying no. to set you up, but I am curious about when you have to travel and you go to so many states that don't I have eat, this I law, eat. are you just out of luck? I'm, I am out of luck, and I eat a considerable amount before I leave, and its effects last for about 14 hours. I see. Uh, so right now, I ate some yesterday before I got on the plane, and I'm still riding – you know, a little bit of that cessation. But by the time I get on the plane today at 2 o'clock, my feet are going to be on fire. Boy. Uh, and they'll and be on fire until I get home. Welcome back. Kirk Farrell, you makes it Kirk and the crew. You're going to want to stick with us throughout the day. A developing news story. We've been reporting on this for the last 45 minutes or so. Um, Springfield Police, Sangamon County Sheriff's Department also... Um, we're getting reports in, and these are facts, folks. These are facts, and that's all we're going to deal with this morning until we get other facts. Uh, also dealing with a, uh, a report of a shooting in the neighborhood that uh, Mayor Davlin lives in. That's what we know. Our news team will keep you up to date. We've got folks out on the road. We've got a team back here in the 970 WMAY News Center. Uh, but again, uh, the mayor not showing up for a, a, a court-directed appearance in a, a, a case of an estate in which he was executor. Of course, um, he made his announcement uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, that was not seeking re-election. Uh, tax lien put on his house as well uh, because of a, a number of issues. And now Springfield Police, Sangamon County Sheriff's Officers uh, responding to a reported shooting in the uh, neighborhood in which uh, Davlin lives. Sure. Audio test on the microphone. 
Audio test on the microphone, got it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you for being here at this time. Uh, I'm going to make a brief statement after which I'll take a few questions. Uh, so let's start out with the statement for now. Uh, this morning, it was requested by the Springfield Police Department that the Illinois State Police conduct an investigation into the death of Springfield Mayor Timothy J. Davlin. Does that indicate that foul play is a possibility, or does it? We're proceeding forward with the death investigation to make sure that all options are considered. This would be considered extraordinary if it were obvious that this was a self-inflicted gunshot wound in terms of the investigative canvas, in terms of streets blocked off, and so little information being kept side. Well, really, in, no matter what the circumstances are surrounding the death, we're following the same procedures. Have you obtained a search warrant for the property? Yes, we have. And what are you looking for in that warrant? Really, we're looking for anything that's out of place in the resident residence, uh, just to make sure we can find any information that's pertinent to this in investigation. In terms of the investigative canvas, in terms of streets blocked off, and so little information. 970 WMAY, the news and talk of Springfield, the capital city's mental stimulus program. Uh, early afternoon, uh, we had uh, dangerous weather sirens that had been activated and we either had straight line winds or a tornado we're not sure which at this time came through uh, basically just south of Petersburg the uh, Lake Petersburg area which is about a half a mile south of town had multiple multiple homes that have extensive or total damage uh, we've had several gas leaks in this area uh, we have fire department crews we have rescue squads we have Springfield fire the state police uh, Menard County Sheriff everyone responding to calls at this time to make sure that everybody's safe. So right now we're very much in preliminary stages and uh, making sure everyone's safe. We're, we are asking that people don't come to this area for sightseeing or onlookers and uh, we should be able to give you an update in a little bit. 970 WMAY Springfield, the news and talk of Springfield. Yes, in Springfield uh, there's been I think three in the last, what, two months? 